Hi Libra, welcome to your August 2019 Love and General Reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot. I think I'm about to sneeze, but let's just see how it goes, shall we? <laughs> I can feel the tickle on my nose. Right, Libra, 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 Sun, Moon and Rising. What do you need to know? Ooh. Hangman and the Lovers in Reverse in the Shuffle. Let's see if they come out again. <laughs> Hangman again. Okay, I'm just going to move that wire. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh. A little story unfolding already. So Libra, there will be an extended reading and that link is in the description box along with any other info you need it's usually all in the description box which is below this video what oh my god i don't believe it do you know what i thought i did your shuffle twice and the hangman came out both times and then i thought well he's gone into the middle now he won't come out again there he is overall energy card of the hanged man yeah Okay, hanged man is interesting energy. It's Neptunian energy. Now you're, oh, do they call it Venusian? You're Venus, okay, you're Venus, which means you're the planet of love orientated. So you kind of make moves that are in line with love, love. Hanged man, that kind of Neptunian energy is a bit more confusing for you. And what I can see is that you enter August in a place of confusion. For some of you as well, the theme that I get here is almost looking forward and looking back at the same time. Some of you are confluxed and confused about a person. Some of you don't know whether to twist or stick, as they say in poker. You know when you're playing, I don't even know if it's called poker because I can't, it's not poker. You know when you play that game where it's 21, you know, and you're trying to get 21. So in other words, if you get an ace, you think brilliant because that only counts as one. So I'll twist and have another card. And then you get an eight, you know, or a seven, which kind of brings you up to sort of 10 or 11. And you think, oh God, twist or stick, twist or stick. You sort of get another one. It's a four, you get 15. You know, I know none of these numbers are adding up. And you think to yourself, oh, awkward. That's where you are emotionally in a situation with someone. You're on about a 15 in a game of 21s and you don't know whether to twist or stick. Okay. There's been... You know, I don't know why I'm getting so many like quotations and stuff. I think it's Hard Times by Charles Dickens. One of the best opening lines of a novel ever. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Okay. I know. Actually, if you ever want to read it, it's a long book. It took me about 100 years to read. But the first two pages are just sublime writing. I feel like in this relationship, you've had the best of times. You've had the worst of times. And yeah, which card shall I start with? So taking the hangman as the overall thing. Judgment. Judgment is the card of second chances. It's the card of do I give this another go? It's the card of coming around again, Carly Simon. It's the card of past, present and future. That's why there's always three people in it. But there is a certain thing, you know, with the angel and the trumpet and that whole calling everyone you know, like in the biblical way where judgment is calling everyone to account for themselves. That meaning is very resonant for you. you Libra, you're, a, you're nice people, okay? You're ruled by Venus. It may, you like balance. You like harmony. You like things to look nice. You like things to be tidy. Not necessarily neat freak, but for things to be balanced aesthetically. And emotionally, you like things to be balanced aesthetically, and this isn't, and you don't know what to do about it. 
to a certain extent you have that Libran balance in that you are looking forward and you are looking back at the same time and that is a scale of some kind okay but it's I think it's because we've spent all of July and this reading is being done in July in Mercury retrograde and other planets are retrograde too including Neptune I think which is the hanged man the planet of illusion um, I think what that's done is upset your balance. I've got the Eight of Wands in reverse, which is my Mercury retrograde card. It's also the card of not communicating with somebody. For some of you, this is because you don't want to. Because you don't know what to say because you're in no man's or no woman's land. You know, you're in the middle of nowhere. You're neither here nor there. You're not looking forward, you're not looking back. You don't have the confidence in this connection to be able to make plans and make communications and talk, but you also don't have the confidence to write it off because there is potential here and you don't want to you know, halt something, you don't want to stand in the way of potential. There has been sadness on sorrow in this connection. The old five of cups is on the table, three cups are down, ting, 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 and that person is turned towards them and grieves those three cups. Two cups remain in the background, upstanding. They're not ready yet to look at those two, but notice again, this is a card of forward and back, past and the present. Three cups are down from the past and two remain in the present. And the person is standing in the middle. That is the theme. So if you imagine a set of scales, Libra, which is of course your astrological glyph is a set of scales or your astrological picture. The scales are on either side. You're kind of the thing in the middle. I don't even know what the word is for that. The thing that supports the scales is you and you don't quite know what to make of it and I don't blame you. But also you can't put this down. So during August you're gonna find that you can't forget about this. Six of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords is the escape card. Either some of you may have tried dating new people. Notice this woman's being escorted away. Some of you may have gone on some websites or dated some people or, you know, tried to get back out there. Everyone's saying to you, move on. You know, that's the move on card. You need to get back out there. Get your disco pants on, you know, that kind of thing. And you're thinking, yeah, I need to get back out there. And then you've gone on Match.com or whatever and maybe had a couple of dates, you know, those kind of dates when you sat there and, you know, within 45, well, you know, within about a fraction of a second that you don't fancy the person and maybe they don't fancy you either. And you've got to do 45 minutes to an hour before you can go, oh, yeah, must be going type thing. Maybe you've done a few of those and you're thinking, oh, my God, you know, nothing compares to this person. But where is this person? Mixed feelings, mixed feelings. Okay, where is this person? Well, there's been a big period of stasis or nothing, nothing burger, nothing happening. Two of swords. Now we got this in reverse. I just want to show it you in the upright. Blindfolded, you can't see what's in front of you. Not because you're too blind to see it, but because it's not the right time to see it. July wasn't the right time to see it. And then when it goes into reverse, the Two of Swords, I tend to think of that blindfold as slipping off. And we have a new moon here. New moon. Now there's two new moons I want you to think about. One is on the 1st of August, I think. Let me look in my moon diary. Hang on. Yes. If you want to get one of these, by the way, they're lovely. I am not financially connected to them, but I love them. It's the Astro, it's AstroCal. And you can go to www.astrocal.co.uk. They deliver to America and Britain. I don't know if they deliver to other places, but it's pretty. It's very Libra, actually. 
And the most important thing is you can look up the astrology. For someone like me, this is a godsend. Okay. New moon in Leo, August the 1st. See that lion? And Mercury goes direct on the same day. That's good for you. And then we also have, in the same month, that's quite unusual, two new moons in one month, I think. Yes. On the 30th, New moon in Virgo, see? Two new moons, good for you, okay? Do you know why? Because that almost feels like a balance. There's one at the beginning, the first day of the month, and there's one right at the end. You love that, okay? Now, these events that we're talking about with the Five of Cups could go back, and this will be fun trying to find this, to when we had two full moons in Libra. And when was that, Gemma? Good, right. March the 21st. And April the 19th. We had this sandwich of two full moons in Libra. So you may have been dealing with this person in March, April time before. Or, you know, even January to March because we had this lunar eclipse in Leo. So it goes back to the first sort of four or five months of the year, okay? or even May, because we've got the five. We've got the two here, that's February, and then we've got May, encompassing February to May, either way, okay? Blindfold slips off and momentum enters this particular scenario. So, you have cerebral momentum, you have brain momentum, thought, rationality, some communication, probably starting when Mercury goes direct, which is on the first, with that new moon in Leo, which is a real refreshing new moon. And when Mercury goes direct, of course, it's a little bit sleepy for about 10 to 14 days at the beginning of August. It takes until mid-August. So don't be impatient for this to happen. Then we have the Ace of Wands, which says, whoa, your pony, okay? Cool your jets. When you get... You're going to get communication, I think, from this person, but don't jump on it the first opportunity you get, okay? And don't, you know, Ace of Wands is a bit phallic and it's a bit, <laughs> woohoo, ping, <laughs> tss, tss, let's go. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Okay, try not to do that, okay? Ace of Wands in reverse is just cool your jet don't um don't take it too seriously sorry about that libra yeah ace of wands is cool your jets don't take it too seriously okay because look that is the overall energy for the month it's not um it's not like wumpf message game on let's go it's a bit more complicated than that okay there is a delicate balance here with whoever it is that you're dealing with. And some of you, I think, are dealing with either a Taurus or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, because of the hangman is a Pisces card. We also have the Hierophant. Okay. Now, let's look at this. This person was not on board with your idea of commitment. Okay. The Hierophant. It can be marriage, which is the ultimate kind of form of commitment, I suppose, or committal. Um, it can be moving in together. It can be long term relationship. It can be let's be exclusive, whatever your version of commitment is. OK. This issue is going to roll around again somehow. They're not they've been thinking on it okay they've been thinking on it it's developing you know in old school photography it's in the water and the picture is emerging of what they might or might not want to do here and really we've got the queen of pentacles here you've sort of been waiting haven't you okay you've been waiting in a way it's what i call the velvet waiting the queen of pentacles it's elegant waiting it's looking after yourself in the meantime knowing that there's been spilt cups and you feel pretty sad about it 
but you know making sure you're looking good on your throne and you're sitting with your pentacle in your thoughts and not making too much of a fuss and not you know going round and cutting you know the bottom of their suits off in the wardrobe or stitching kippers into their curtains or whatever people do in revenge scenarios boiling bunnies whatever you are staying cool and graceful and classy because you're a libra and it's it's not pretty to behave like that okay it's not attractive it's not balanced you do stay balanced this has not gone unnoticed okay it's not gone unnoticed by the universe judgment gives a second chance and it's not gone unnoticed by this person okay page of cups the beginning of an offer starting to form in someone's head okay the beginning of an offer now the page of cups on its own is a little clumsy it's the youngest the most untrained of all of the pa of the page the knight and the king you know but it's a goodish start, okay? Now, what I really like is to get the knight. He's upgraded, okay? So he stumbles up to you with the fish in a cup. My fish, my cup, okay? It could be a she, by the way, any of this. He, she, whatever, okay? And then look, they upgrade. It's like probably because you weren't too impressed with the first one. That's what I mean about this don't go rushing off the blocks at the first sign of something i know you've been waiting all right i know that they haven't communicated and this is really exciting but stay like the fawns and be cool how old am i okay so the page of cups upgrades gets a nice white horse a slightly better actually it's the same cup but this time he's realized that a fish in a cup is not really that enticing see yeah the armor's on, he's upgraded, he's probably on a better salary and he wants to tell you all about it. Okay. Three of Wands in reverse though. This person, and it could have been a three month relationship, that is often three to five months, is often the time when things start to get a bit, you know, either progresses or it doesn't. It is to a certain extent something that kind of had loads of potential look at that loads of potential but didn't develop and the reason was their reluctance and their absence because this there is a sense of separation about this okay hanged man in the extended reading i'm going to look at the knight and the page of cups i'm going to look at judgment also we get the queen of swords in reverse you may not have established your boundaries with this person as robustly as you might have needed to okay none of us ever do libra i know there's all this talk on dating advice and they're right we should all be completely cast iron and have amazing boundaries and state our case and all that but we're all human we all get really excited when someone shows an interest and when we fancy someone and it all goes a bit out of the window that's just life I think it's about time people got real about that. Okay, yeah. Chuck Spezzano love cards. The problem card of pain. Something happened. That's your five of cups. It either happened between you or it happened before you got together. Okay, but you two tried to carry this pain. It could be a painful ex who made life difficult for you because there is somebody else on that stretcher with a broken heart. Okay, so maybe you were trying to deal with someone who was separated but not yet divorced with the Hierophant there. The healing card of trust here is the key to my heart, okay? But, you know, keep that key in your pants for now. Don't be dishing that key out the minute they text you, how are you? Especially if they use a the letter U and don't actually use some proper, you know what I'm saying, I'm fussy about stuff like that. You're a Libra and I expect you are too, okay? Just saying. What are you up to? <laughs> right. Really? Okay. With one of those faces that goes... <laughs> or, <laughs> or ooh, ooh, with love eyes. I know. You think, what am I, ten? Okay, tenderness. That's nice. Okay, that qualifies. That is decent. That's what's needed here. Okay? And don't stop, 
don't don't start until some of that starts to come through okay yeah you can't pin your knicker elastic at the first text between worlds see that's it that is the misery and the velvet waiting and the fiber cups and then we move into one of my favorite things in life which is a flamingo with my other favorite thing which is a tiara or if you watch my daily you will know that sometimes I do whip out the tiara and put it on okay there we go woohoo between worlds I know it's amazeballs right let's have healing with the angels oracle card then I'm going to go straight on to the extended reading okay I will clarify these cards and I will pull oracle cards and love cards and use a different tarot pack as well I'll use my smells like the 70s Morgan Greer me thinks the link to that will be in the description box okay look you get abundance don't stop till you get enough I think that's um I've got so many books and songs in my head for you Libra and now I've got that whole kind of like yeah thing going on guardian angel that's nice this can be someone in your family who passed probably female who is doing a little bit of helping somehow I don't know how you may know who that is already okay Libra that looks really interesting if you want to go to the next part of the extended reading then click the link and join me straight away down below as the actress said to the bishop otherwise Libra please subscribe to my channel and watch my daily readings and my pick a card readings and anything else that you feel might be you know resonant for you and do share this video across any other type of social media I'll see you soon Libra namaste